Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're joined by Steve Brown of Paintings of Steve Brown. On YouTube, I am a Paintings of Steve Brown. On Instagram, I'm Paintings of Steve Brown. On Facebook, I'm Paintings of Steve Brown. To figure out which five converted mana cost commander is best in CEDH and Kinnon. So first up, we have me on Tevishot Chrome Batman. Tyler's on Mirror Mod Kinnon. Cameron's on Kenny's Famous Combos. And Steve Brown's also on Tenrith. <laughs> I'll draw a card. Bloodstained Mire, and I'll crack that. Go to 39. Gonna go get a Volcanic Island. There we go. Cast Soul Ring. Cast Fell War Stone. Doesn't tap for anything yet, so hopefully you guys play some lands. Pass turn. I'm sure your wish will be draw. granted. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Polluted Delta, and I will crack that right away. Trap Island is gonna cast us a Birds of Paradise, and then Cam, you're good to go. I will draw for my turn. Arid Mesa. Crack Arid Mesa. Ooh, I split right to it. A Badlands for a Soul Ring. Pass the turn. I'll draw. I like the, like, in CDA, just the first turn really expresses your deck, and I'll, <laughs> stick, with, I'll stick with being a creature deck. And play a Birds of Paradise instead of. There we go. Uh, I like to see it. I'll yeah. <laughs> Untap. Draw a card. I'll play City of Brass. You got a Badlands over there, Cam. My City of Brass is going to ping me for one either way, so I'll go to 38 and cast Crom. Woof. Steve, welcome to the show. I'll attack you for four. Hey, that mean little zombie. I'll take four. <laughs> That's all I got. Pass turn. Untap. I will play a Minamo. Dun, 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 dun. Minamo. Brainstorm at sorcery speed. I'll put two cards on top in this order. Cast Kinnon. Crom Trigger. Crom Trigger. I will pass the yeah. turn. Draw. We'll play an Exotic Orchard, and we'll tap it for blue to cast Training Grounds, and then we'll pass. Uh, we're going to play an uh, Arid Mesa. I will play one Gilded Drake here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you, you hit me, will you, Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want the Krom and not the Kinnon? Kinnon's pretty good. Card draw is pretty sweet right now, and I kind of want to slow you down. I have no responses to Guild the Jake. Me either. I'm going to pick the Krom. Jake, you have Krom. I'm going to put in an altar from Legacy Altars as the Krom. I think I'm going to pass turn from there. Let's untap. Draw a card. Tevishot. Lose one from the city. I'll plus one Tevishot and sacrifice the Guild the Drake. Draw two. Underground Sea. Go to discard Gemstone Caverns, which was in my opening hand, but I went first, so wasn't able to play it. <laughs> Pass turn then. Untap the draw. City of Brass. Move to combat. And we'll send two at Tempish Slot. I'm just gonna pass turn. You're just gonna pass? You can still cast the opposition agent, don't worry. I was actually gonna do that anyway, so we'll get him out there on your end step. I'll grab this here make uh, Savannah. I'm gonna go ahead and untap. Draw. Laboratory Maniac. Go to combat, attack Tevish for three, and then we will pass the turn. And maybe Kron wasn't the right thing to grab. They had to draw any cards on that runaround. Whatever. I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw. Lose two for a Overgrown Tomb. Mana Vault. Tap two for a Collector Oof. Oh, Collector Oof. Okay. I guess I'll respond to the Oof. I'll cast Brainstorm. Two back. And yeah, I'm gonna pass priority on Collector Oof. I'll declare attackers and throw a crom at uh, Ramsby. It's very hurtful. Take it for. I'll pass turn. Go to me, untap these artifacts that don't work, and draw a card. Play a Spire of Industry. I think I'm just supposed to pass. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Pass turn. In your end step, I'm going to pay five, losing one life to City of Brass, and cast a rather pathetic pull from tomorrow for Exus 3. Cast Dark Ritual. Flash and Hull Breacher in response. I'm going to respond with a Pact of Negation. I have Crom Triggers. If anyone has removal for uh, his Birds of Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> with it still on the stack, I'm going to use one of my black here and City of Brass, lose a life, and I'm going to fire off a Limb Duel's Vault. Nope. We got one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven life. I'll shuffle these other cards, put them on top like this. Okay, yeah, go ahead with your pull. All right, uh, draw three, and I'm gonna discard Windfall. On top, and upkeep, I will not lose the game. Draw for turn play, a Mana Confluence, and so you go. Let's go to my turn. Oh man, I was really expecting end step to Mana Consultation out of you, and just like drawing on your upkeep and winning that way. <laughs> oh no, actually, on my upkeep, before my draw, I'm gonna Tainted Pack. Ah, okay, sure, okay, this makes sense. All right, I'll respond. This is the only out I have at the moment. I will cast a Veil of Summer. Okay. I'm to draw a card. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's, that's something. <laughs> I'm helping. That's good, I'll take that card, and mm -hmm. it's not... I have interaction, but it can't interact with Tainted Pack, so, um, yeah, I'm past priority. Got yep, it. you got it. I spent my packs. <laughs> I'm going to name Tarmogoyf, go to my draw, 
I win the game. Sometimes you just get there. Sometimes you just, you're in the right spot at the right time. Yeah, exactly. The table's going around. You look at the top deck that you had and you go, all right then. That game was short and simple and sweet. This next game is nothing like that at all. Let's just get right to it. Let's get the hell on. That was weird. <laughs> What's the hell? Going second, Gemstone Caverns feels real nice. Get rid of a Spellseeker. All right, well, I'll draw Baihu and Noble Hierarch, and then pass. Are you guys okay with no luck counter, or are you guys really sticklers for me? That's, no I, we, yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> right, everyone can remember. Yeah, I remember. I will play a Wooded Footle. I'm going to crack that Wooded Footle. Tropical Island. I'm going to play a Demonic Tutor. I'm going to get this card. I'm just going to play that card, which is a Mana Crypt. And then I'm just going to pass turn with all my mana. Draw card. I will play my own Mana Crypt, Arcane Signet, Spire of Industry, Imperial Seal. Get this mystery card, lose two life, pass my turn. Draw. Makes my teeth. I'm going to pay two life to get Probe Dylan. These are my cards. Well, I don't see the other half of the combo, which is worrisome. So I don't know what he put on top of his library. Something to find a way. Let us know if we need to know. <laughs> he's got two pieces of counter magic, um, which means he's going to be able to defend whatever he wants pretty well. I will draw my card from the probe. Crack windswept teeth. Life. Get it. The trap. I just found out that my card that I'm recording my microphone on it uh it filled up, so it stopped recording. Um, so it's my voice is just gonna sound like shit for the second half of this game. That's okay. I guess I'm not doing anything with that. Gonna... So faster. Okay, I'll draw for my turn. We'll play a Misty Rainforest for turn and then pass. I'm gonna untap, upkeep, uh, crit. If it hits Bitcoin, I take three. Hi yeah. Oh no, I'm three. I will draw. Man, if I had something to interact with, whatever Dylan had, believe me, I'd do it, but I don't. So don't yell at me for tapping out. With one mana floating, I'll play a Bloom Tender. I'll just take that mana burn and with one blue, play a Tree and Ground. And I will pass turn from there. Go to my turn. Mana Crypt. No damage. Excellent news. Drop return. Shock in a Steam Vent. So 36. 23. 4. Lose the life. Exile Simmons Spirit Guide for a red 5 mana. Cast that not zoom. I have no response. I am going to cast brainstorm take a peek sees look back to and crack this to get a tundra i'm gonna try to silence you here i have a dispel for your silence that's pretty good does anyone have anything for that i do not i gotta pass priority right. well i'm gonna pass priority on that too or at least we made him use his mana all right let's see what we can get Well, well, well. This is a lot of good stuff here, but I don't know if I would call it a win just yet. You have the vamp tutor okay. too. Do you have a way to draw? No way to draw. That is the issue here. I think I just keep going and maybe die. Mm. Do it again. Do it okay. again. One more card. One more card. One more card. Scroll rack. Ugh. <laughs> two. That's actually helpful. That it helps is. Me. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop at the two, but I can't use the vampiric. I know. Right I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's put all of these in my hand. We're stopping at two. I guess I'm a dead to Noble Hire plus Bloom Tender attack. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've already played a land this turn. I'll play a Lotus Petal, play a Mox Diamond, discarding Basic Swamp, Chrome Mox, pitching Rhystic Study maybe. This is turn two, this is crazy. Sack this for a uh, red mana. Yeah, I know this is a lot. Grim Monolith. Float a colorless and cast a scroll rack. I will use that colorless and activate scroll rack, putting aside 23. Yeah, just put aside all of them and exile them in this order and then take 23 off the top. These guys go on top and let's see if we found the breach. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. <laughs> really? <laughs> so I can cast this Mox Opal, cast Rite of Flame, making two red mana. This is so fucking ridiculous. Cast Jessica's Will, targeting Tyler for seven red mana. Cast this Fell War Stone. Uh -huh. We're gonna get a Jeweled Lotus out here. And go down to two mana here and cast Imperial Recruiter. I'll get this Dockside Extortionist. Cast Dockside with that last two red mana. Make two treasures. So I have two here for Talisman of Dominance. One, two, three, four, five. Cast Heavy Shot. Make two thrills here, go up to six, and waste so much time doing so little. I'll go to discard, discard Limdul's Vault, Dark Confidant, and then I'll hold Gripple Lands here. And pass turn. Damn. Turn two. Just a casual turn two. Just a casual 35 fucking permanents in the battlefield, 75 cards in my graveyard. 
paid 42 life and I have nothing to show for it besides a lot of fucking stuff in my lap. You have a Tevis shot. Yeah, I have a Tevis shot. <laughs> I know how this game ends and I thought you were going to win. <laughs> Especially after that scroll rack when you just yeah. put, what was my that, 23 cards? Rack. Yeah, my favorite part about scroll rack is after an ad nauseum, you draw a whole bunch, you don't quite get there. Scroll rack is just basically your double ad nauseum, second ad nauseum. It's just normally that's more than enough to get there. This time, I just could not find a breach or any way to, like, actually convert all of my stuff into a win. So, I'm going to play a Sniper Island, P2, and cast a Talisman of Curiosity, and say go. I will draw, we'll go Training Center, and pass. Untap, Mana Crypt, so hit the big one, I take three, I hit the big one. I'll draw. I'm going to have one mana floating and cast a Phantasmal Image. Darkseid seems to make you a whole shitload of treasures. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have nothing. I have one. I have none. I think I gotta respond to that. Dylan goes to you first. Yeah, I'm, I pass priority. Alright, I'm gonna cast a Force of Vigor, pitching a Noxious Revival, and yeah, I'm Patrick. absolutely not. I'm gonna shoot your Squirrel Rack, Dylan, and your Training Grounds, Steve. Phantasmal still. Priority goes back around then. I'm gonna pack now that I know that, that you're gonna kill that, I guess. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I'm going to pack. Okie dokie. Well, I came here to kill someone that, you know, plays for play to win. So <laughs> the funniest way to do that, if you don't have another counter spell, uh, would be I have one floating. One, I'll make it two, and I'll play a meltdown for two. <laughs> yeah. What that on sure earth is that? fucking kill the hell out of me. And at the moment, it's destroying a lot of that. Yeah, I'm just fucking dead from that. They're all dead. I'll pass them to there. Yeah. Um... So, retroactively, obviously, Pact of Negationing there was a terrible mistake. But Kenrith, with access to that much mana, is a very dangerous spot. If Kenrith can build up enough treasures, Kenrith can do literally fucking anything. Untap, upkeep, die. I can't pay for my Pact of Negation. Got him. Uh -uh. Boom. <laughs> Damn, all of that, and I couldn't seal the deal. Yeah, what, a, what an embarrassment. <laughs> Before we go to Tyler's turn, I would like to flash in a Hole Breacher. No one likes that. <laughs> Untap. Draw. I'm gonna play a Cephalid Coliseum, pay two to cast Kitten, pay one and one life to cast a Prophet of Distortion, and sadly pass the turn. Alright, we'll go to my turn. I'll draw. Play Rejuvenating Springs for turn. Cast Wheel of Fortune. Wow, I hate that. Uh oh. Cameron, are you wheeling? Oh my god, you're gonna win two games in a row. <laughs> I don't remember the last time that happened. Steve, you got any response? I'll do it just because it's the right it's the right thing to do, but it doesn't really change anything. I'll pay two life, not just survival. Target, probably mana crypt. All right, well then, I'm going to discard Eternal Witness, Phantasmal Image, and Neoform. I'm going to draw seven and then make 14 treasures. Yuck. Discarding a Fiend Artisan. Rhystic Steady, Basalt Monolith, Recurring Insight. So, real quick, Tyler had the win on next turn, just so everyone is understanding what's happening right now. That Basalt Monolith plus the Kinnon in play plus his little Prophet of Distortion, that's a win right there on Tyler's next turn. Mystic Remora, get a Kenrith out as well. Go to combat, hit Steve for three, and then pass the turn. This was also a very awkward situation to be in. Make 14 treasures, be the only one with seven cards in your hand, and then... Play Mystic Remora. That is the worst Mystic Remora in the history of this game. <laughs> if you're noticing that I missed something, don't worry. It's coming, so don't tell me in the comments. I wonder how many people have already left a comment saying, Cameron, wait a minute, you forgot this! Untap. Draw. Play a mana crit. Not paying for fish, on <laughs> I will draw. I will pay five and play my own camera. Boom, I pass the turn. Untap. Draw. That's a slap in the face. Pass turn. Go to my turn. We will pay one to keep the fish around. Why? <laughs> Draw for turn. We'll play a watery grave, losing two life. Deathrite Shaman. Oh. Activate Kennerith to return Eternal Witness from my graveyard to the battlefield. And I'm going to target Wheel of Fortune when it comes into play. There we go. Oh my god, We're Cameron. seeing it now. Those gears are turning. And we'll Wheel of Fortune again. Discarding my hand, getting 14 more treasures. Oh, Tyler, did you draw the pull from tomorrow? That was your draw? Yep, that's why I said it was a slap in the face. That's so <laughs> brutal. <laughs> I can cast Mana Crypt and Lion's Eye Diamond here. I can activate Kenrith to return Phantasmal Image to copy a 
return a witness, returning Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune again, discarding my hand, getting another 14 treasures and drawing seven. Well, well now what? Here we go, I put it together. Cast Baron, Master Wizard. And then I can pay two treasures and sacrifice a treasure to return Eternal Witness. Oh, uh, I yeah. think, big time. I think this just closes it out. Cast E Witness, get Wheel of Fortune back. Cast Wheel of Fortune again. Get another 14 treasures and draw seven. All right, and now we got it. And then we can activate Kennereth, return Thassa's Oracle from my graveyard to the battlefield. With the enter the battlefield trigger on the stack, I'll use another treasure to cast Demonic Consultation. Hang on. Uh, consultation resolves, I assume? Consultation. Oh, you have Cephalid Coliseum here. What would so... you like to name? <laughs> Let me think, let me think. I'm gonna name Laboratory Maniac. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is six. All right, no lab man in the top six. It was the bottom card. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah so, uh, so consultation resolves that historical trigger? I'm gonna respond and activate Cephalus and Coliseum targeting Cameron. Unbelievable. Mm, let me see. Oh, hold up, hold up. There's gotta be a way I can put this together because I can sacrifice Thassa's Oracle and return Phantasmal Image, which is gonna let it die. And then I'll pay one, two, three, four, five, and then reanimate Thassa's Oracle. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> All right. I think Kennereth is the best evolution. <laughs> that settles it. I don't think any other evolution build would have been able to handle this. Kenny is good at one thing in particular better than any other commander, and that's letting you recover from your own mistakes. He just lets you do anything that you want. Draw a card, reanimate a creature, especially with Baron when you can be sacking and bouncing all of your creatures act as doubling and you can just reuse everything you want that was a lot that was so much and again only Kennerith could have pulled off such a feat thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support us directly you can do so on patreon check out our bonfire store for our awesome new t-shirt designs that are only going to be available for may if you'd like to pick up any of the cards you saw today you can do so at a tcg player affiliate link down below our alter sleeves affiliate link now gets you five percent off your order so definitely check that out we also have a couple of play mats at our website play to win mtg.com including this new one should we still be talking about the podcast here we haven't really done it in a while thanks so much for watching see y'all next time it was an honor to take you out that way dylan i <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do too much but i'm like if i could kill one of them it's a it's a victory for me and i'm just like okay <laughs>